On the 8th of January 2003, Turkish Airline 634. An Avro RJ-100 narrow-body aircraft is parked at Istanbul International Airport, Turkey. The plane is preparing to make flight TK-634. This is a domestic flight to Diyarbakir Airport. The captain is Mr. Aladin Yunuk. 34 years old. He is a former Turkish military pilot. He was recruited by Turkish Airlines in 1995. He has 6,309 hours of commercial flying experience. The co-pilot is Mr. Ismail Uluslu, 33 years old, hired by Turkish Airline in 1998. He has a total flying experience of 2052 hours. The crew consisted of three flight attendants on this small plane. 7.15 p.m. The passengers began to board the plane. Most of the passengers are Turkish. A total of 75 passengers were on board, in which the youngest passenger is only two years old. The plane was carrying a large amount of cargo. This RJ-1000 is powered by four Honeywell LF-507 engines with 3.2 thrust each. Seven thirty p.m. The plane was pushed back from the parking lot. Flight TK-634 has an estimated flight time of one hour and 10 minutes. The plane received the order from ATC, taxied to runway 06 of Istanbul airport. This plane was not full of passengers, and there were 37 seats left. The Avero RJ100 has the registration number TC, THG, which is manufactured by the UK, owned by Trident Jet and leased by Turkish Airlines. The plane is eight years old and have accumulated 17000 takeoff and landing cycles with over 20000 hours of safe flight. The plane is eight years old and have accumulated 17,000 takeoff and landing cycles with over 20,000 hours of safe flight. Turkish Airlines is the national airline of Turkey with a network of flights across the continent. However, Turkish Airlines has encountered many accidents in its history. The plane ramped up to take off. TK-634 was ordered to fly steady at 32,000 feet. The flight remained stable at 32,000 feet. The flight was quite smooth because the weather on the flight was very good. TK-634 may land a little earlier than expected. The pilots were still preparing to obtain a descending order from ATC, then approach Diyarbakir. The atmosphere inside the passenger cabin is very cheerful. The playful sounds are also recorded by the CVR, recorder. Moments later, TK-634 was instructed by ATC to descend to 9,000 feet. TK-634 descends to 9,000 feet. The flight continued to be contacted by ATC Diyabakir. After descending to an altitude of 5,000 feet, both pilots could not see the runway because of the thick fog. The RJ-100 still slowed down and opened the flaps to land.
MDA altitude is the minimum altitude in a given terrain area. If the runway cannot be located, the plane needs to go around to find a way to land again. The pilot tried to look through the window. All passengers are advised to fasten their seatbelts. The pilot did not intend to go around because he thought he had been here many times. Ignoring safety flight provisions, he continued to lower the TK-634 to 500 feet because the pilot thinks in front is runway 34. The speed of the plane now is 243 kilometers per H. This is the landing speed. Suddenly, the Too GPWS low. terrain warning Too system low. started terrain. to sound a warning. Eight seconds later, terrain. the captain decided terrain. to go around, but terrain. it was all too late. Terrain. terrain. Pull up. Too low. TK-634 crashed into a hill and exploded at 9.19 p.m. The passengers and the plane were subjected to a very large G-force. This caused the plane to fall apart. A total of 75 people were killed. Five survived, including a flight attendant and a two-year-old girl. But that two-year-old girl died in the hospital from her injuries. It took several hours for the rescue team to reach the crashed plane, and everything was burned black. It took several hours for the rescue team to reach the crashed plane, and everything was burned black. The pilot did not follow the flight safety rules, due to low visibility due to fog.